So to start with the heart, um, so what I've done is, uh, so this is a long sleeve uh, shirt, and I turned it inside out, uh, folded it in half lengthwise, um, worry about the sleeves later, um, and then what you see here is the back of the shirt, so this is the back and it's inside out. So. Uh, like past tutorials with the uh, uh, symmetric shape, um, you know, you know, fold in half lengthwise, and then I have my uh, washable marker here, and I'm just gonna draw half the heart. accordion pleat folds and since I've tried to you know improve the way I do my accordion folds hopefully that translates to this shirt Looks bunched up, but uh, actually, I, th I think so far so good. This is definitely a case where I wish I had some sinew. I think sinew would be a better option than a rubber band, but I'll just have to work with what I have. Okay, that, that feels pretty good there. I'm gonna get it tied pretty tight. So I have a, one of my smaller rubber bands. I'm gonna try and get that as tight as possible. Okay, so this will be the heart right there, and I'll just kind of uh, spread the rest of the shirt out there, and I will start uh, tying down the rest of the shirt. Um, and I have an idea, and I will admit it's a borrowed idea from another tie dyer. Um, that I follow on Instagram. Uh, he recently posted a picture of a heart he did. And, um, I don't want to copy it exact, but I'm you know, kind of using him as in, using him as inspiration. So I kind of have some different spacings with the rubber bands. Actually, before I go any further, I want to get the sleeves folded up. And something new I've been doing with long sleeves, and I can't remember if I've showed this in a video or not. Just folding them kind of over and on 
top of themselves. So I know this looks odd, but I have high hopes that it'll look cool. Or the finished product will look cool. Okay, so uh, ready to ready to well, not quite ready to get dye. I'll have to soak it in soda ash, but um, we'll see if I change my mind. But what I'm thinking for dyeing this is um, uh, we use the dye in bottles and liquid dye this, and then maybe put like a reclosable. Um, Ziploc bag around it and then um, ice dye the rest of it. That, that might change. I may end up um, uh, just liquid dyeing the whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'll show you the dyeing process next. 